Hello everybody and welcome to a series that I am starting that is going to be featuring a really cute little indie game called Bad North. And all you really need to know is that it has Vikings, and I'm already sold because I love Vikings and Norse mythology. It's not probably what you would think though, um, it's a defense game mainly. We're going to be playing hard. I have beaten this game in the past multiple times, but it's still pretty tough on normal. So we're going to give it a shot on hard, and I think this series might end when I beat it. It's a pretty short game, probably only going to take uh, a couple half hour episodes. It's not that big of a game, but it's actually really fun and I enjoy it. Okay. So here you have your two little cute viking squads that are pretty much not leveled up at all. They're puny little runts. Um, and then you're going to have these guys at the bottom of the map, or pretty much everywhere, on ships that are going to be attacking you. And you have to defend these two houses, which give you coins that you can use to level up your squads. You pretty much just got to defend these houses. And as you progress through the map, it's a pretty big map, you'll get to the final like boss island, which has a bunch of super strong enemies that you gotta defeat, and that gets pretty tough. We just gotta successfully defend against these hordes of monsters that are approaching. Uh, so we should probably put this squad over here to defend this house. You also gotta be careful. Be oh, yeah. So as the, I guess you should say bandits, I don't know what they're called, we'll call them bandits. As they get closer to the houses, they'll start burning them. It'll take multiple torches to burn them, like, I'd say about four, maybe? And then once they're destroyed, you don't get any money from them. And then each squad has a commander. If that commander dies, your entire squad just dies. They can't respawn nothing. So we got a victory. Five coins. Oh, that's new. It tells us how many people we've killed. And so here's the map. So here you'll see a little hexagon-like shape. That's an item. We'll get an item. We can equip that in one of our squads, and it'll give that squad a special ability. And then the big, like, yellow shapes, those are the houses. Uh, I think, uh, I think the squares give the most money at three. And then the purple banner down there is another squad. You can have a total of, I think, four squads, but you can't have more than that. And then, pretty much after each island we conquer, we have to let our commanders rest. And now they are fully rested and we can conquer a new island. And then behind us, well, you'll see that later, but let's let's try and conquer this island. So we have, I think you pronounce it Yo Yonter or Jonter, I don't know, with Norse mythology pronunciation, but Macklin and Jotner. Yon Jotner, yeah, I think it's Jotner. Um, so we're gonna deploy our units. Ah, oh, god, they're so cute. And we have to defend these houses when the ships come in. Like last round. So... We'll send our... Green squad, green squadron here. And create a little death cube and... Kill them. Kill them all! All right, here they come, and then hopefully, by the time that that's all done, we can send our people over here really quick. I can definitely tell the difference between normal and hard. Usually normal, only, I think, two ships would be on their way by now, but there are way more. So this might actually get tough in the future. Oh yeah, okay. We should probably replenish our guys. That's another thing you can do, is if your squad gets a little low, you can replenish and put them inside a house. Okay, uh, commander, don't die. Commander, don't die. Alright, yeah, that was that was a close one. This is actually very difficult so far. Holy crap. Um, Alright, um, I think we're going to have to sacrifice a house, actually. Um, and Ah, crap. So they can go up here, or they can go to the left. I think we just cut them off right here. And then... Oh, God. Oh, no, but our commander and people are in there. Okay, we gotta go back. Okay, this is this is very, very tough. Okay, we need to get over there quick before they burn the house down because it's gonna give me a lot of money. No! God! They got it. Okay, I should have sent these guys over here. Yeah, uh, another thing I can tell, the units are way stronger. Holy God. Usually, you could take these guys out no problem, but they're eating through our squad right now. Holy crap. Alright. Did not do too good on that island. Not gonna lie. But now, 
We have a little bit more moolah. So we can invest in one of our squads. I like Jotner. Um, so we could either give him three classes. Archers, infantry, or pikes. I like to go with pikes early on because they're super strong for defense, but they can't attack. So I think we're going to go with pikes for now. <laughs> And then we should probably go soldiers because archers are going to be appearing soon. And soldiers will have shields to block the arrows, but the other two squads won't. So usually you want at least one soldier class to block the archers. So my ideal loadout is two pikes, a squad of infantry, and then an archer. That's what I found to be the most successful squad I win with. So there's a new enemy we're going to encounter. As you can see with like that one question mark shape above the island, that means there's a new enemy there. But there's also a new squad here, and we need people as soon as we rest. So we we need to get the squad bad. Wilbur. God, you're so dopey looking. Alright, where are they coming from? So, oh yeah, I have pikes. They look like they're just holding Q-tips. What the heck? Alright. Pikes are usually very good for when the enemies come to them they will kill them very quickly. Now these uh, are the new types of enemy. They have shields. Pretty much just means that they're a little more resistant and can take a little bit more damage. See? <laughs> you can also knock them off into the water. Like that. And the pikes are doing a very good job. No one's injured. And then we can have our infantry up here. And then up here to pretty much just create a kill zone for them and cut them off. What the heck is going on? Alright, drop down and kill him. In my honor! There we go. Okay, we should have probably moved these guys a little earlier, but it's fine. And then we'll create another kill zone right here. Another thing to note is when the ships come in, they give a little oomph. So if your squad is right in front of him, like if it was right here and the ship just came in, it would disorient them and like blow them away. So if they were next to water, it'd blow them in the water, so you gotta watch out for that. ATTACK! Alright, five coins. And there's the new enemy. So that was pretty good. Okay, so now we need to rest. Now we have three squads and seven coins. I... Hmm, I'm gonna make Wilbur infantry. I look at that. They have little shields now. And uh, as you get more coins, you can obviously upgrade the classes. So my pikes will be upgraded and can do more damage and can hold their ground better. Infantry will have more health and their shields will be bigger and can cover more area. And then archers, they'll just be more accurate. So... Usually you want to let the pikes deal with them first. And then the infantry comes in and slams them. Alright, dealt with that squad like a piece of cake. Alright, now let's go ahead and go here. And just create another kill box. This is kind of... The same strategy you'll see me doing throughout this Let's Play. It's kind of what I found to work best. Uh, let's switch you guys. Um, that's actually good because they won't get knocked back. If these, if the pikes get knocked back or they like charge in at all, they are going to be destroyed so fast because they they can't attack. They just hold their ground. That's all they really are good for. But they do a good job at it. And the gameplay is obviously on the slower side, but it will pick up the further we get into it when there's new enemies, and then the big viking brutes which you shall see sooner or later. Those guys are a force to be reckoned with, my god. Thicky boys they are. Oh, mines, that's new. Well, I haven't seen mines. What does that do? Holy crap. Alright, let's let our commanders rest now. And what do mines do? I can get more pikes. I'm gonna do that. 
So now we have two pikes and infantry. Now we just need another squad for archers. What do mines do? Can be placed on the ground, triggering a powerful explosion. That is so cool! That's kind of like bomb, but... Dang, that's actually really dope. I think I'm going to... Give that... Shoot. I think I'm going to give that to the pikes, because usually what I say for infantry is the war horn, which replenishes your soldiers immediately and those guys are gonna be dying a lot so I'm gonna I'm gonna give Jotner the mine and you can also upgrade the mine as well so one extra use per island and the class the classes you upgrade can also be taught abilities with money so that's also something why is everything oh my god I have it select on squads alright there we go Alright, and as usual, create a kill box. And you can also get an ability for the, uh, the infantry, which can slam down on a squ square down below from where they are. I wish there was a- I, wait, is there a speed up button? Hold up. I thought there was a button that could speed it up. Crap, what was it? B, no. Crap, what was it? It's not that. It's not that either. Nope. I thought there was a button. Which button was it? I'm having an aneurysm. Alright. Oh god, okay. This should be fine though. Don't really have to worry too early on in the in the map but pretty pretty soon once we get later into the map every mistake is gonna cost you a ton things will be piling up super fast five coins nice and it'll it can get out of hand really quick tickle me nuts <laughs> <laughs> I freaking turn chat on because I turn it off because it freaking blocks half my screen and I just see tickle me nuts. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway. Oh god, that's freaking hilarious. Alright, we don't have enough coins to upgrade anyone else, so we're just gonna have to go to this next island and deploy our troops. And I think we only have one way to go. We just have a straightforward shot through this next part so just gonna have to defend these houses cuz I need coins bad all right another kill box <laughs> oh man that was freaking hilarious okay That is a lot of them. That is a lot of I bandits. I don't know. I I just call them Vikings too. I guess. Now oh, we got some rogues over here. If one of your players dies, you gay. Well, they're gonna die because this is hard mode and it's actually pretty tough. Especially these guys. These guys are gonna die. How about if one of my commanders dies, because that is really- Oh my god, look at all these guys! There's so many! There's so many! Dear god! Okay, I think my pikes can handle them, but I want to use my bomb. I have two charges? Nice. Okay, no, I want to set my squad here. Alright, they're gonna be docking, it looks like, here. I'm gonna set my mine. My mine. I'm gonna set it there, and I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna make him back up just in case the explosion was gonna kill him. But oh my god, that's a lot of a lot of troops right there! Holy crap! This early on, you don't see that many troops. That was not as effective as I was hoping it would be. Wow! But my pikes are destroying. Okay, they were destroying, but they got through. Gotta send these guys up here now. 
And I'm burning my house. Do not burn my house, please. I need that money. I need that dinero. Get them! Come on! Kill them! Thank you. Wow. I got that got out of hand for a second. But we got five coins. Fifty uh, generic guys down there. Ooh, a philosopher's stone. That's also new. They added some new items into this game. Holy crap. Alright, well now we have ten coins. And I'm gonna save him. What is, oh yeah, what is a philosopher? Generates additional gold from the islands you defend. That is sick. Yeah. I'll probably put that on my archers because I don't really have anything else for them except the ring of command, which increases the uh, unit's count size. So let's go to this island, let our commanders rest. Now let's conquer this one and get some gold. All right, this is a pretty flat island. It's gonna be a little hard to defend if there's a. Okay, yep. I was about to say if there's a lot of your house gets touched again, I'm raping you. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, we have a challenge now. Uh, if one of my houses gets burnt, Devin is going to rape me. He's gonna literally come over to my house and he is going to bend me over. So we we can't let that happen. It looks like they're just sending in. Some scouts. They got past. No, Devin. No, no. He touched my house. They got past through this archway. Are you serious? They're not even attacking. Ah. Oh, okay. Gotta send our guys here and just keep him in a funnel. I'm screwed. Devin is now going to come over my house. Or, come over my house. Come to my house. <laughs> okay. One more dude. Kill him. K kill him. Thank you. Um, so now we're going to have people in front of the archway. This time. Right here. Okay, now we're going to go here. And kind of cut them off. And then the soldiers will be in front of the archway. Wait, no, the purple guys are my soldiers. God dang it. Okay, this should be good as long as they get there in time, please. Alright, good. Nice. Alright, these guys, this should be easy. I can just cut them off here. And then right here. So hopefully if these guys go through this archway my infantry should kill them. Alright. Alright, everything's looking good so far. I'm actually a little bit scared. That is a lot of shield dudes. Wow, that's a lot. Alright. Uh, let's go... Let's set up a chalk point right here. Make a little X. And then our infantry right behind in case they want to jump in. Nope, don't go there. Oh, wait, you know what? No, I'm gonna put a mine. I'm gonna put a mine right here. Bop. Alright. If it gets touched again, I'm bringing four more people. God dang, it's gonna be a gangbang then. Kill them, please. Please, for the love of God. For the love of God! No, no, please. Get him. No. No. <laughs> that was the last soldier. Of course he got through all those people, dude. Why wouldn't he? Yeah, so I'm gonna be looking forward to that four-person gangbang. Mioria. Wait, no. Mora. Moria? I don't know how to say that. Whatever, dude. It's freaking impossible to pronounce some of these names. Alright. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting me boys. <laughs> So, this new squad that we're, if hopefully at least, if we successfully capture this island, will be our uh, archer squad. This should not fail. I kind of lost train of thought right now. I was going to say something, but I kind of forgot it. Plop. Oh my god, they're just getting thrown into the water. Alright. Oh, crap. Okay, these guys are going to be more direct on, and... I'm going to use some of my soldiers for that, but my pikes can probably deal with these guys, hopefully. 
Um, if we just put him there, here, and then my yellow squadron here. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put my pikes a little closer. Hopefully this, these people do good. Cause, oh my god, yeah, these, the enemy is way stronger in hard mode, holy crap. This is actually gonna be a challenge later on. Okay, that's the Horn of Death. That means the Brutes are coming. AKA, the Thicky Boys. Where are they? Where are they? That horn meant something, dude. That was the Horn of Death. Crap, okay. This is this, this might suck. This might suck. This might suck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, you guys need to replenish. You're already so low. Okay, that's good. Nice. Okay, we cannot let them burn this house down. Where do I... Okay. Fudge. Uh, cut them off here. And my purple infantry isn't looking too good, but they should be able to take care of two of these shield guys. I'm about to look up what each enemy's name is called, but uh, let's send back up over here. And that's it. Right? Yeah, okay. So there weren't any brutes that time. Which I'm surprised from hearing the Horn of Death. That usually signifies something, at least. But now we have the name that I cannot pronounce. But that is going to be our Archer Squad. And we have a lot of coins. Holy crap. 22 coins. Okay, we got some upgrading to do. Uh, I'm going to give you the Philosopher Stone now. And now if I can... What, what happens if I upgrade it? Increase coin received per island by one. Provides one coin? Oh, that's kind of doo-doo, actually. Alright, well, volley... Okay, archers first upgraded kind of suck. They just potato everything. So I'm going to upgrade the archers again so they actually hit people. And that's all our coins. Uh, I don't think we can do anything except by volley, which we might as well, because that's actually a really good attack. Yep. And now we need items and coins. I think we're... Well, yeah, we just need coins, because I'm set with my units. This, this will probably be easier to defend if I go here, so let's go here. Oh man, this is a... Holy crap, this is a small island, dude. Why would anyone live in it? Why would anyone live on this? Two cottages, whatever you want to call them, are on this island. There's nothing that you can, like, grow on this that will provide enough food for you. Uh, I'm just being too logical, but this is just such a small island. Let's make sure... We'll set our pikes here, so that in case they go up the stairs, they'll be waiting for them. And it kind of sucks, because these guys have shields, and our archers can't do anything about that, unless these shield guys start attacking. Oh my god, they got obliterated. All of them just got pushed into the water. Alright, I'm going to put my mine down here, I might as well use it. At least it'll disorient the shield guys. Um, yeah, this this looks good. I'm pretty sure the mine's gonna do self damage to our units if we're close enough to it, but I think we're fine. Wow, okay, that kinda sucked. That, that, and by kinda, I mean that had no effect. Okay, our red squadron is getting a little banged up. We'll put both of our pikes here. Create another kill box. You know what? Uh, I don't know, because the ship might push him back. We'll, we'll go with it. And then we can send our purple boys in if, uh, they need backup. Nice. Okay, that worked out beautifully. You know what? No, they're gonna get banged up by the ship. I'd rather do that. Uh, I don't know. No, I'd rather do this. Ah, uh, that's a lot of them. I'd probably tear up my infantry. Ooh. Oh, that's the, uh, what's it called? Philosopher's Stone at work. Alright. That's cool. So, they're gonna be our money makers. That's really nice, because we need coins bad if we want to level up our boys. Oh my god, all these houses up here. Holy crap. Alright, we're gonna have to do this. For the money. It's probably gonna be harder to defend, though, with no high ground at all. 
and my pikes probably won't be able to get that much coverage because there's not as many chug points, but uh, it should be fine. Hopefully. Wow, okay, those are massive ships coming in. Uh, we're gonna put both of our pikes on the sides. And then infantry right here. And then our archers are gonna be right here. And hopefully they can shoot over the house to thin the herd. They cannot, that sucks, okay. Uh, maybe right here is better? Oh, nice. Beautiful, alright. I went from kind of worrying to this is a piece of cake. And here are the first archer units, or enemies. And pretty much just put your infantry, they'll block all the arrows and they'll take care of them. Easy peasy. Oh god, okay, but the problem is, is that they're coming from all sides. So, we gotta wait for our infantry to take them out first. And then send them over to where the other archers are because our guys without shields don't stand a chance. Maybe we can have an archer battle really quick. But I don't really want to risk too much. God, these archers just keep backing up. Get him! Thank you! Alright, now come here. And there goes two of our archers, just like that. Oh god, just kill him. Alright, this is looking a little bit worrisome. We have no archers, so that's good. I'm gonna take the chance to replenish our archers right now. And our people. It should be fast because there's a decent amount of them. Yeah, okay. So hopefully all is well. Please. Nice, okay, good. Oh my god. Okay, kill kill him. Kill, please kill him. Thank you. Okay. The only person that can actually attack, like, on offensive is the commander in the middle. So that's why the pikes are absolute ass cheeks at a, uh, offensive. But this is probably gonna be bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna use our volley once they board on this, because this is probably gonna tear up our uh, what's it called? Our infantry. All right, volley now, volley now, volley now. Ooh, you guys didn't volley. What are you guys doing? Now they're attacking our house. God, kill him. Thank you. I'm just waiting for these guys to die now. Okay. All right, and then the archers took care of that one archer, so that's good. Uh. Wrap. Uh, set our pikes here, and then quickly get our infantry here with our archers. Uh, nope, nope, I don't want them there. I want them here. Alright, it's looking good. Okay, nope, they're going to our archers immediately. We gotta go in. Nice, okay. Taking a little bit of casualties on our infantry unit, but that's fine. Um, okay, our archers are gonna take care of the rest of that squad that came in and more archers on the way and I need to get these guys back because they're going to die I uh, uh, we could use yeah we can use volley yeah we can use volley on the archers when they get here I'm gonna go now okay that took care of some of them but not all of them. Uh, archers over here are backed up, so we gotta send infantry in. Please don't die. My archer squad is looking a little weak, and I do not want them to die, because that would really suck. This early on. Get him. Attack! Nice. For King Mac for Spartans. Wow, that's a lot of gold. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a lot of gold. Dang. We did... We we got so much gold from that. Oh my god, worth it. Uh, I'm gonna invest in our Philosopher's Stone. So now, we get an extra three points per island. We can't upgrade anything, but I think it was worth it, because that's gonna be generating a lot of money for us. Alright, well that's the first episode, with many more to come. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Farewell.